to promote the comedy website chortle.co.uk um, Very good read it is too. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's lovely to be here. I know this accent is not necessarily uh, easy to warm to. Um, that has been made clear to me on a number of occasions. Um, I, th I think the thing is, if you speak the way I do, you know, properly, um, <laughs> people do make certain judgments about you. You have a posh accent. A lot of people assume that you must have an easy life. That, that is not logically the case, let me assure you. Your life it's not made any easier by the fact that most people you meet already think you're a bit of a cunt. Um, yeah, the mass just is not in your favour. Uh, but I do, I open my mouth, people make all sorts of assumptions about me instantly. People assume that I must know about shooting, or wine, or, or think that I can instinctively govern a small island province. Um, you know, I can't. Um, you know, I have, I have tried it. It was an absolute disaster. Okay? Very awkward afternoon for me and the islanders. Um, <laughs> A lot of people hear the way that I speak and assume that I must be a homosexual. Uh, don't know what the logic is there. I don't know if they think I've had to learn to enunciate clearly with a mouthful of cocks. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't actually. Uh, but I, I do like to think if push came to shove, I would probably be able to. Uh, I, mean, I don't, don't think that's a particularly arrogant boast. Uh, probably have ventriloquism stuff, isn't it? Uh, Little puppeteers. Um, it's not that I wouldn't have chosen this voice. Obviously, I'd much rather have a sort of Scottish accent and sound whimsical and tough, an Irish accent, and not have to write any material. Um, it's just, just the way things have worked out. Um, uh, yes, well, it's difficult. I mean, if you have an accent like this, it's just, you just you just get into trouble with things like that. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people think that you're being rude about. Them. I might just talk about this because this is the way my parents speak. You know, that's the way it works, isn't it? You do tend to inherit the accent of your forebears. That's why a lot of working class people seem to be incoherent. <laughs> you know, because their parents are drunks. Uh, if indeed they're around. Uh, I'm joking. I am... No, I am joking. I'm joking. I'm joking when I talk about working class people. I, I have to. I've, I, I've never met one. But, uh, statistically, I'm sure some of them are smashing. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, it's a difficult time at the moment, isn't it? There's a big recession on, which must be a big recession. Must be, must be terrible for the people involved. Um, I, think, I think the recession's fucking great. Have you, have you seen how cheap shit is? Yeah. Fantastic. You know, I bought a DVD of Time Cop the other day for a quid. Not even going to watch it. Absolutely no idea what it is. I just uh, recognise a bargain whenever I see one. It's a strange business, isn't the recession? A lot of people have blamed the bank, because I never think that sort of behaviour is fair. I think, if, uh, I think if anyone's to blame for the recession, it's the television news telling us there was going to be a recession, and there's all just sort of obediently going along with it. You know, a bit of a desperate desire not to embarrass the BBC or something. <laughs> I remember about nine months ago, watching the lunchtime news, the news just suddenly went, everybody's panicking! Oh, are they? <laughs> I seem to be having a bit of toast in my pyjamas. <laughs> Gosh, how serious is this? Well, I need slippers. <laughs> Well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's sort of uh, about two minutes, 40 seconds of the sort of stuff I used to do. And um, this year's show is all about cricket. Uh, and I was going to do a bit of that, but I thought it might go down about as well as an opera. Lots of people looking bored, shitless, desperate for an interval. Um, good night, thank you. <laughs>